everyone. Um, so let me just quickly talk to you about today's drawing, and then I'm going to talk to you about today's topic, um, which is um, doing a 30-day challenge and why I think that everyone should do one um, as an artist. So uh, just in terms of the drawing, um, I don't think this is the most original concept. I've definitely seen people with flowers on their eyes around the internet. I unfortunately don't know specifically where, but anyway, the idea is not the most original, um, but I was inspired by it and I thought I'd try recreate it myself in my own special way. <laughs> and I'm really chuffed with how it came out, so you can basically just watch my process of doing it. Um, yeah, and then just in terms of 30 day challenges, um, it is an interesting experience and I know I've said this before and I know it's I've said that it's difficult but it really has vastly improved my skills <laughs> um it's a great feeling as well when you reach the end well I, we're, I'm not quite at the end but I'm today's the 29th day I haven't done my drawing yet but so I've done 28 drawings consistently and I think that this is the fastest I've ever filled up a sketchbook and the fastest I've seen myself pro progress um like, my drawings at the beginning weren't bad, and my drawings at the end aren't that much better. I mean, I think I'm just getting back into the swing of things in terms of drawing, because I stopped drawing for a while, and so that I stopped drawing, I just stopped drawing regularly. It started being more of a once a week kind of thing, and just drawing every day really, really helped improve. It just made me feel better about my drawings, like... I don't know if that makes sense, but when you have confidence in yourself that you're not going to stuff it up, even if you're not concentrating 100%, um, it's a good feeling. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that all of the drawings I've done for Inktober are the most amazing things I've ever drawn, because that's a lie. <laughs> They're not. Some are definitely much, much, much better than others. This is one of the much better ones. Um... But I haven't put anything out that I'm horribly embarrassed by, which I'm quite proud of, because I thought that there would be one day, one night, <laughs> it was really late at night, and I had no, um, what's the word where you really don't want to do, like, no inclination to do something, or to do the drawing, and I'd draw like a stick man, and then I'd post it on the internet, and then I'll just forever pretend that I didn't do that. <laughs> Um, I didn't really have one of those moments, which is good, and I think that's why Inktober so far has been an incredibly positive experience for me. Um, I can't say it's been easy, because it's been at the worst possible time of the year, ever. <laughs> um, I have a really big event coming up for work in two weeks, uh, and then this week coming up now is my last week of varsity, so it's deadline week, and then we go into our exam project, which is just hectic so has this been the best timed 30 day challenge no um has it been one of the things that I'm most proud of in terms of my art and my illustration yes I it's an incredibly rewarding feeling to be able to say I have drawn every day for the month of October and I can show you and you whip out your whole book of 31 drawings well at this point 28 but 28 is still a lot of drawings um you whip it out and then you can show people and they can literally go on the journey with you. And I think it's so cool to be able to like definitively show people what you have achieved in a month. And it's a really great feeling. And even if you don't create the best art you've ever created that month, at least you're practicing. Like at least your skills are getting better or at least if they're not, I would be a little bit worried because if you draw every day, you should at least feel better. <laughs> about the work that you're producing, even if you don't think it's getting better. So anyway, it's it's nice to be able to show people the progression that you've made, even in just a short period of time. And it's nice to be able to have a thing to present to people, to be like, I've done this thing, look at how amazing it is. Because sometimes I feel like people look at drawing and they're like, okay, that's nice. And they don't see the work. And I feel like when you can say, I did this all in a month, people see the work. And it's a very rewarding feeling. And I don't know if I'm the only one who gets rewarded from, like, from other people, but I personally feel very rewarded by that. But I think I also feel the most rewarded by the amount of improvement that I've seen and 
just the amazing feeling that I get when I look at my drawings and I can say I'm honestly proud of this. So just a short video this week, um, kind of a positive note, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, tune in next week if you want to see me flip through my sketchbook. Um, it's going to have all 31 illustrations in it, and I'm going to talk about my process, the materials I used, everything like that. So that one should be fun. So I will see you guys next week.